I'm Dan Harburg. I'm working here at Thayer with Charlie Sullivan. Uh, we are working on a collaboration with uh, three different, three other universities and also a startup company in Boston. We're funded by the Department of Energy on a project to look at uh, increasing the efficiency of LED lighting power supplies. Uh, and we're going to do this basically with an approach that involves eight different research groups uh, and 27 people across these different organizations um, to try to figure out a way to integrate all of the electronics for powering LED lighting uh, into single chips. So um, trying to figure out ways to fit both the magnetics, uh, the semiconducting devices and the circuits uh, all onto an integrated circuit uh, that will take very little space and be much more efficient than current um, power supply systems for LEDs. So our piece of the project here at Dartmouth is to look at how to do the magnetic components that are required in that circuit. So in order to power LEDs um, you need DC voltage and it needs to be at a sufficiently low level and a regulated current uh, so that the LEDs can provide the necessary light source. Uh, what that means is that if you plug an LED into your wall it, it wouldn't work um, and so you need to figure out a way to convert from AC voltage to DC and then to a level such that it powers the LED at its optimal point. So in order to do that one of the components you need in the circuit is an inductor. Uh, or in, in most of the circuit topologies, you need an inductor. And so we're trying to figure out ways to miniaturize the inductors um, for these systems and to put them on the same chip with the semiconducting devices that are required for the converting process. So uh, it's been a really fun project so far. We're just getting started. We have three more years uh, to, to look at this, but um, we have you know, fabrication team at Georgia Tech that's wonderful, and we have circuit designers and semiconductor guys looking at gallium nitride switches and MIT and we have a group looking at new magnetic materials at University of Pennsylvania and a startup company in Boston that's trying to help us think about commercializing this technology. So uh, we'll see, hopefully in the next few years you'll see our, our technology and light bulbs over your head.